social media for long cycle, long sales cycle products. Okay. But it depends on your objective. I mean, the first thing you need to get in the 18 and 20 more, four month sales cycle is that meeting, right? That's why the inside salesperson is calling. And so what you're looking for is that objective. And it comes down to your entire Salesforce CRM funnel. You know, how do you move that from prospecting to developed all the way through to closure? You need to get a certain number of meetings up front. And so social media can work in terms of <coughs> moving that through the cycle faster, in terms of engaging and speaking the customer's language and being where they're comfortable. It also can help in terms of finding the individuals who are going to have that first meeting with. But a lot of these products haven't really been around for 18 to 24 months in a consistent <laughs> way used this way. So we're all learning. Yeah. Any other thoughts? Yeah. Um, you know, often those those products are uh, are B two B type products, not not always, but in many cases they are. And a B two B sale is a complex sale with many many different decision makers along the chain. And often the B two B the marketing is designed to really give the salesperson some air cover all the way up to that decision making chain. Right? That you, you need the you need the line of business decision maker, but you need the CFO eventually to sign off on the budget that that line of business manager will ask for for that product. And so I think you you, you approach it just as you would any other marketing effort. Where are those where, where is that upper echelon of decision makers spending their time? And, and what, what media vehicles do I have? Is Twitter the right place to do that for the CFO? Maybe, depending on what kind of company it is you're selling to. But I, I don't think the rules are that dramatically different. I think you still, you still approach where are the people that I'm trying to reach and how do I make sure I've got a consistent presence throughout that entire sales process to support my salespeople's efforts. Okay. Anything? Yeah, one quick thought is if you, if you have a community at the company level, then they will follow you in a product that you launch two years after. And, and I was just thinking about a product for like, like even longer, like I would love to go to space, you know, Virgin Galactic and all those products. That's like a long, you know, and they, they have a community and, and you know, like I would kill to go there. I'm sure you do. Maybe not. Like, maybe you know the first ones. But I, I think if you have like Virgin and Richard Branson have those brands and you should see how much he's followed on his fans page on Facebook and fans and on Twitter and so on. And because people want to learn and they're fascinated, I think they would follow every product. And it's, it's good to have a community at the company level or the CEO level um, regardless. Now, if the product is totally boring, like a toothpaste, it's very tough. Now I have to agree with you. Now it's all marketing, and, you know, like we don't talk yeah, about toothpaste.